Now to a CBS 4 News safety alert. A warning tonight from the Humane Society after a dog attack last week. CBS 4's Joe Murray explains why the coronavirus pandemic could be the link to the rise in emergency room visits. It's hard to imagine man's best friend turning into a violent foe. But last week at this Miami dog park, a dog attacked a father and his young son. That's why Humane Society officials launched a warning in front of that dog park Monday, urging everyone to keep your guard up around unleashed dogs. With dog ownership skyrocketing during the pandemic, they say emergency room visits for children with animal bites has increased threefold since the COVID outbreak a year ago. Uh, the lockdown has created a lot of stress amongst people and when there is stress in the household that stress is translated uh, to dogs and the dogs experience and feel the stress number two if people are not if they're adopting but they're not training the dogs properly that's always a problem thankfully miami-dade animal care said they have actually been able to stem the tide of dog bites in 2020 we had a 25 percent decrease in dog bites with about 550 fewer bites in 2020 as compared to 2019. Mm -hmm. I think the, the most important thing um, for pet owners to be aware of is that their dogs need to be under their control and on leash at all times, unless in a specific area where they're permitted off leash. Any dog under the right circumstances can and will bite. I, I don't believe this is an issue related to um, visitors uh, from up north. This is more about pet owners being aware of their pets and, and parents closely supervising their children. While thousands of people are bitten every year, you have a better chance dying in an accident than dying of a dog bite. Rule of thumb, keep your dog on a short leash. Joan Murray, CBS4 News.